G'day guys, Will Kitchen here. Welcome back to another video. We're just starting a session. We have just pumped some yabbies on this nice little flat behind us. It's got plenty of yabby holes and plenty of bait in it. And the water is just starting to creep up over that with the running tide. So we've just anchored the boat here. Dad's just having a cast. And the first place we're gonna fish is right where we pumped our bait. Hopefully there's some whiting, maybe a flathead starting to move up onto this shallow flat here to ambush their bait up on that uh, sandbank we just pump yabbies on. So anyway, we're gonna have a cast here for starters. Stay tuned, hopefully it's a good video and hopefully we can catch a feed for the family. If you do enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment and share it with your mates. And I'm gonna be giving you as many tips as possible throughout the video as always. So anyway, fingers crossed we can get some here. Dad's getting a bite. Oh, missed it. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Looking for banks with yabby holes that the tide fills up on top of is a great place to start looking for whiting. That's what we want guys. So I was just about to talk to you guys and tell you that we've switched our plan up a little bit. We we're only getting little ones back there land based where we were on the uh, shallows. So all we've done is we've anchored the boat. We've got a nice shallow sand flat here on this side that the tide is running over. We've got the wind and tide going the same way. So we've actually anchored, we can sit straight and it's really nice. And then over on this side, we've got a little bit of a deeper channel and we're sitting sort of right on the edge so we can fan our casts out and try different depths and see where they're sitting. So anyway, that's a nice start and dad just dropped one. So hopefully there's a few nice whiting around here. The lucky fishing hat has come good. All right, so after getting a couple there, a uh, couple of bites and one fish on the first cast, it was actually really quiet. We've got a couple of brim and other stuff like that, but uh, no whiting all of a sudden. So all we've done is We've moved up to the top of the bank and we're just gonna drift down with the wind and tide and uh, try and locate some fish. Hopefully we can get a few bites, uh, pick up some fish, but yeah, hopefully we can locate where a school is sitting and uh, keep drifting back over them. So that's a really good way to target whiting as well, especially when that tide's getting a little bit higher and that could be spread out a bit more over the flats. So anyway, we'll have a drift here over this bank and uh, yeah, fingers crossed we can get a few more. Dad's on. Looks okay. Maybe. Maybe not. Staying down. Come on. It'll make it. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to measure it, but he will. Just to make sure. Nice work.
guy. Yeah, easy. That's a better one guys, that's what we're looking for. I'll hold him up for you in a second. But we were just drifting as I said, picked up one or two and uh, found a nice looking bit of water so we just dropped the anchor over. The boat's swung back around now. First cast, I just picked that one up. So biggest one of the day so far, so that's very nice. If worse comes to worse and we stop catching them, we can just pull the anchor up and keep drifting again. Move over to where we want and drift over the nice sandy patches between all this seaweed. But anyway, I'll hold him up. So there we go. Beautiful. Oh, hang on, Dad's on. Got Dad did that. Huh? Yeah, we're not. I'm not here. Sorry. Oh, oh now he is on. Okay. Yeah, it's a wadi. Every time you go to do something, I'm trying to hold this one up for you guys. I got Dad the camera to hold, and he gets one. Every time you go to do something on this boat, you catch a fish. As I was going to say, they're nice and sandy coloured, very clean up in this clear water. Nice, clean sand, so uh, they're very, very sweet and tasty. Anyway, that's a nice one, and Dad just got one as well. So we'll measure that, but I think it's legal. sometimes and just before I was only getting little ones out this side dad said to cast out his side because he was getting better bites and all of a sudden I got a legal one first cast so it's important to find some and then fish them pretty hard um, they might move on but for as long as you can try and get onto them took it a bit better didn't it a little whiting Yeah, it's alright. I think so. Have to give him a measure. Where were you? Give him a measure in case, but. So, apologies for the weird angle here, guys. I was just making sure the GoPro was pointing in the right direction and then a whiting ran off with my live yabby. So let's check if it was big enough or not. I'm just going to readjust the GoPro. Took it off my head and that fish hit. So I'm just about to measure him. Dad just got that legal one as you saw. So yeah. Oh yeah, he's easy. Yeah. Yep, 
he's legal. About a centimetre over. So guys, we missed out on the cameras because I was up putting the anchor out, but we just anchored in about two feet of water. We're running a bit low on yabbies now, so we're just gonna have a bit more of a fish before we head home. And uh, as the boat was sort of drifting back and the anchor rope was tightening, a big flathead in about two feet of water just spooked and took off. And uh, Dad cast at it, hit it on the head. It took off again and spooked. And uh, I could see it for about 60 meters before it disappeared, just swimming along the flats, this really big flathead. It's just amazing the uh, sort of things you'll find up here on the flats so that you're in with a chance of catching. So anyway, that was exciting. We might have to come out one day with some liveys and drift across here, but uh, yeah, it's always exciting to see a big flathead. Oh, got one? Yeah. <laughs> Butter the old butter brim. Dad, you're on fire. As I was just lifting the anchor up to leave, Dad had one more cast, and of course, he gets one that looks like it's going to be legal. So we'll measure it. It'll be good. You get an eye for it after you uh, fish for them for a while. Dad's got guys. They're not huge today. Fishing around the sandbanks, you can't expect huge ones all the time. You might get the odd one. Dad's on again, two casts in a row. But anyway, they're nice, and we we're just saying they're all tasty. When you get enough of them, great feed. So uh, we're bleeding them as well. Even though they're just small whiting, it makes a big difference. Oh, I missed you. I missed him. Makes a big difference, and I'll uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second with this fella. I'm just gonna have this cast first. Now I just thought I'd show you how we bleed the whiting, which is uh, the same as what we do with all fish. As you can see, if I open the gills up there, you want to come back and cut that membrane along the back all the way around, down to the chin there, flip it over, same thing, and then straight into a bucket of water to drain out for a few minutes. After that, straight into the esky. Now Dad and I decided to stop at one more spot on the way home that we had to drive past anyway. It's a sand flat that stays underwater most of the time and we just wanted to get rid of our last few yabbies. So we went for a couple of drifts along there. If you can stop that, I'd be happy. Hello, top! <laughs> Hopefully it's illegal whiting. It's going all right. Yep. I think he'll make it. I think he'll make it. Easy. Easy. I think he will. There we go. There's another one, guys. Just drifted over this sand flat here. There's a channel just over to our right. Weed flats to our left, and there's a little sand strip in the middle, and we're just drifting down that. Pretty much stays underwater all the time, but uh, anyway, not huge, but nice fish. We're running out of yabbies. Yeah, nice. Woohoo! Oh, I 
guys. So there's a nice one to finish off that Dad just got. Biggest one of the day. That's a nice fish. If they were all like that, we'd be laughing. But uh, no, nah, still good to get it and finish off the day like that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Whoa. I hope you've enjoyed this video, giving you a few tips on how to catch whiting up on the flats and around the shallow flats. Um, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and leave a like rating and a comment. Ask any questions that you want. It's been a really good little session, only a couple of hours, but it's been nice and relaxing and we've got a feed for the family, so that's the main thing. It's always good fishing with Dad and he's out fish me once again, just like usual. He cannot stop catching whiting. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Get out there and do it yourself. It's nice, simple fishing. You don't need anything too expensive and these things are bloody tasty. So yeah, we're about to head in for some lunch, but yeah, get out there and enjoy it. Cheers guys.